Here is Garcia. Gonna have to hoist it up. And the hook will fall to open the game. And they're still looking to get on the board over two minutes in. Joshua Ola Joseph. A scoop high off the window. Good job by Ola Joseph there. Taking his time, playing off two feet, understanding the help side is not coming, stepping around the defense, getting the easy two. Good cut. Bailey showing some real bounce. Make their guards uncomfortable, then get out and transition and get some easy ones. Ola Joseph driving, had it blocked. Transfer from Eastern Florida State College, coming off a 12-point performance on Wednesday. That's just a two from the wing. He can't attack downhill. One thing that Upstate head coach Dave Dickerson told us yesterday, they want to go either early or late in the shot clock as Alves connects on the first triple of the afternoon for the rebound. Minnesota out rebounding upstate seven to one in the early going Christie misses on the three Don't love that shot from Christie. You just checked into the game try to get an easy one first before pulling up for a three in transition Bailey he jars the second triple here in this first half for upstate four turnovers already for this Minnesota team which has been plagued by them this season. That's their biggest liability by far. Langley laying it up and in. Garcia a little bit late on the rotation there for the pick and roll. If you're gonna be in the hard heads, you gotta have that rotation set before the catch. First lead of the game for the Spartans. Braden Carrington. Bailey pushing the pace. Pulls up from long range, and now three, three-point baskets, two by Bailey for the sophomore from Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Now one of 11 on the year from three-point line is Carrington. That's what he's, that's what he's. A very aggressive Spartan defensive posture. And Parker Fox may have gotten away with a travel as he slams it home. Now Jordan Surratt. Around Fox. Big rebound by Pharrell. And the Spartans with the three point advantage at the midpoint of this opening frame. Wild shot, but it falls for Parker Fox. Fox against the double team makes the smart pass to find the open pain. And Upstate is doubling from the baseline. And so as you spin, you have to be ready. Fox doing a good job of being aware of that and finding pain for the dunk. Broadnax was stripped. Oh, that's a tough basket. Gives his player a ton of confidence. And, you know, just love the pieces that he's added in recruiting to this team. He has a very talented group. Hawkins scooping it up. A redshirt senior from Atlanta and a transfer from Western Carolina. That is Isaiah Enan, who leads this team in three-point shooting, but that was his first attempt from downtown here today. Also second in the Big Ten Conference from three-point range. Brunnax the miss. And Garcia pulls it away. Oh, that's a terrific look. wasn't anything for them. I told the coach, I said, hey, at least it's not January. <laughs> the miss by Alves, and Minnesota trying to extend this tenuous advantage here, closing in on the final three minutes of this first half. Dawson Garcia. And he gets the basket over Miguel. Leader in steals on this Gopher roster. Alves into Amir Langley. Trying to back down Garcia. That's a powerful move for Amir Langley. A transfer from Western Carolina shooting it. 
54% from the field this season. And I don't know if that's intentional, but I always love is see Lane Lane get the steal. I always love to attack the highest usage rate on the offensive player and is Broadnax getting the layup off the turnover. I always loved attacking a guy like Garcia who's getting a lot of possessions because their legs are tired. They don't truly want to guard every possession. Back to a one-point game. Corner three from Mitchell. That's his first three of the day. A rare three that time as well for Minnesota as Bromnax comes back and knocks it down for Upstate. And get it into your stuff smoothly. Cam Christie, who has it now, had 18 points in his college debut last week. Gets a two-point basket with his foot on the line there. Max averaging 14 per game, had a career-high 20 at East Carolina on Wednesday. Christie can't connect. Alves the rebound. Action here. Alves. Oh, wide open. Ola Joseph. Some miscommunication. Nobody picked up the injuries, but after a Division II career that was very productive in South Dakota, he's found a home here back near where he grew up. Leading the charge here, finding Christie. Now Fox with some room on the baseline. Ola Joseph. And the three-point play. Garcia lost the handle, got it back. And that may be just enough as he heads to the line to try and complete the three-point play. Miguel Ayesa missing on what would have been his second three-point basket. Five to shoot. Enid on the miss. Ayesa again pulls the trigger on the three. Taking the shot clock all the way down, and Garcia charges it from three-point range.